What would the world be like without teachers? Well, well, oh, that's, <laughs> uh, well, the world without teachers would be very, I don't know how to say this. The world without teachers? Um, um, I think it would be a worse place. To be honest, I don't know how the world would be because... That's a scary thought because the world would be ignorant. We wouldn't really know anything. Ooh, bad. Well, I think I, it, it would be a worse place. Be a lack of knowledge um, and more ignorance. Be kind of a dumb place. It wouldn't be too great of a world. Probably not good at all. It would be a very tough place. But your foundational knowledge look like if there were no teachers to guide you? Well, teachers, there wouldn't be school, there wouldn't be any character building, and we would all just be kind of like when, when COVID hit, and we'd all just be at home doing really nothing. So, I'd obviously be broke because that's what my mom does for a living, but realistically, um, just... This world revolves around knowledge. They're a reinforcement for what our parents have put into us. So when I was in school, our teachers were like our parents. So they taught us a whole lot. They reinforced what we got at home. No nothing. No lawyers, no doctors. I mean, you wouldn't have anybody. Anybody with an actual... Uh, what, what's the word? I can't think of it. Uh, knowledge, just knowledge. Yeah, that's that's a word. Church is filling a lot of gaps in society to help and support those who need it who may not have it at home. We also teach you know valuable lessons to help. Every, some have good to help at home, but sometimes they just need another perspective or support. But to me, there's a lot of people that without teachers would just not have anybody cheering them on, supporting them, helping them throughout their lives. And then if we didn't have teachers, the school would be long gone. Without teachers, the world is nothing. I think teachers are one of the most underrated uh, professions here in the world, especially nowadays with uh, the amount of things that the teachers have to deal with, with COVID, and, uh, understaffing, and just students wanting to be uh, kind of have not a, not a whole lot of structure, but I think teachers are very important in today's society. So improve their students' lives in other ways that aren't academic. Uh, like for a lot of students, uh, I think uh, school is like the one place uh, where they can have like a safe place to uh, be who they are without like uh, having to be at their job or like be at a home, which you know they might not like. My kindergarten teacher just really set the standards for me. She was one of the best teachers I've ever had, and then a lot. There's been a lot of people, a lot of teachers. Probably the reason why I'm here right now. He lets me know to work harder every day and to be good. She was my home ec teacher, and um, back then, being left-handed was um, kind of awkward because nothing was left-handed. Everything was made for right-handed people. And uh, in class, we were, one of our things we had to do was to learn how to crochet and knit, and I couldn't get it because it was backwards to me. So she set me in a chair in front of a full-length mirror and got behind me, and she showed me how to do it. And from that point, I learned how to crochet and knit. My mom's a teacher, and she's probably the most impactful person in my life. He was uh, the AP U.S. history teacher here for a long time, and uh, he handed the program over to me, you know, about a decade ago. And uh, he gave me so much support and encouraged me. And honestly, I had him in high school, so he's the one who inspired me to become a history teacher. It definitely helped me come out of my shell and gave me like ways for my career path and. It overall just helped me just get through high school and just help me sort my life out for the future. And she just, she improvised on, you know, I couldn't learn this way, so she's taught me how to learn a different way. He's also a really good teacher that I can really relate to, and he got me through the, um, the little hump in high school that you have to get over. He helped me in my early years of school, and she's just always been there for me, even 
to this day she is and she's just been a great help in my life. I just love this class so much and I've learned a lot in there and it's just the best class ever. He is the one guy who influenced me the most to get into coaching basketball and uh, get into education. She has changed my perspective for us. But even though it's in first year, she's always really passionate about her subject and she's always trying to learn with us. Um, and she's always trying to uh, make our class interesting. Like once uh, we were learning about like other cultures, so she brought food from a bunch of other places. Teacher all the way through middle school, a great teacher. Like she's she's made me who I am today. She opened me up to a lot of things in middle school that I never knew that I could do. Mr. Lawrence. Mr. Potter. Thornberry. Miss Humphrey. Uh, Mr. Terrell James. Miss Doval. Uh, Coach Pickle. Miss Moore. Miss Safley. Mr. Baxter. Miss Lyman and Commander Hannah. Mr. Avery. Coach Sid. Miss Andrews. Mr. Hall. Mr. Baxter. Miss Snee. Uh, Miss Napier. Miss Christy Smith. And Coach Shane Gordon. Coach Campbell. Mrs. Witherow. Miss Smith. Miss Fricado. My mom, Catherine Bush. 